how has my body helped me to build the business that I've got today and helped me to create the life that I have today? This is such an important topic that I want to discuss with you. I don't know what stage of your journey you're at right now, but when I was writing these points out, I know how important this is going to be to your career and your life. I'm sharing these because I was talking to somebody the other day and and my body has just been the most incredible tool which I've used to its greatest ability. I was sitting down with my uh, functional medicine doctor only this morning and he knows how passionate I've been about my health, my wellness, my bodybuilding, my physique. And when we're looking at some of the health markers right now, he said, I can tell from everything how much this has meant to you. And it just, this is why this video has come about is because at the age of 46, and I started lifting when I was 15, but really started taking it properly seriously just before I got into the fitness industry over 24, 25 years ago, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the work that I put into my body. And I don't want you to spend the next 10 years with the body kind of doing okay and not realizing what I've been able to realize. Number one is that my training or my body fueled my passion to learn. And I'll tell you why. The little bit of knowledge that I have along the way impacted and changed my physique more than I ever thought. I remember when I just read one book and I applied one bit of nutrition, my body fat started to drop. When my body fat started to drop, my confidence started to go through the roof. When my confidence started to go through the roof, I was like, well, if I could read a little bit more and implement that onto my body, what would happen? Would I get more confidence? I did. Would I get more strength? I did. Would I get more muscle? I did. So the first thing that happened is it helped me to see what is possible with knowledge. And because I was applying it on myself, it fueled the desire for more. And I think there's a lot of coaches that don't even study anywhere near enough and the bit that they do they just apply it with their clients but their clients are really slow to see the benefits and the other thing is is because you're not applying on your body you don't believe in it truly yourself you're giving it to your clients but you don't truly believe it because you've never seen it with yourself whereas with me my passion for training and what I could do with myself was being fueled simply because I was learning more and applying more the second thing is my physique doubled trebled quadrupled my self-confidence. I didn't have a high degree of self-confidence. When I started in the fitness industry and prior to that, I I wouldn't really speak to girls. Um, When I did, I was very shy, very nervous. I was confident in loads of other situations, but I was very conscious about how I looked. And as I started to work on my physique, I started to feel like I got something of significance. I got something to bring. Something I didn't have when I was very young was significance. I didn't really feel like I, I fitted in and would bring anything to the table. And suddenly when I started to lift, people wanted to, oh, wow, what are you doing? They were intrigued with my training. I felt like I I got something to offer and something to bring. In the fitness industry, I'm sorry to say this, but if you've got nothing to offer, no one's going to want what you actually are presenting. If it's nothing of, you know, you've got to do something pretty pretty impressive in the fitness industry to stand out and make a mark and be very successful. And I said to myself, I am lacking in knowledge. If I can apply the knowledge that I've got to the body that I want, Will it come true? And because it kept coming true and it kept improving, my confidence in business, my confidence in relationships with people, my confidence in my coaching skills just kept going up and up and up. I find that there's so many coaches whose confidence would double and treble and quadruple if they transformed themselves into something that they never dreamed was possible. I saw one of my photos is a I did a photo shoot with uh, Giles Crofter and I looked at it and I was like, how, how the hell have you been able to do that? The guy that was small that no one really recognized at school has this insane physique and it was recognized. I won shows with it. Um, it was recognized for my work. It was recognized, you know, I put in magazines. I was like, how have I done that? With this, and I'm going to go on in, into these points sh- shortly, I just kept pushing the boundaries with my body because it was giving me significance, because it was helping me to improve, it then opened the avenues and doors to business opportunities, relationships, different people. The list will go on. Simply because my body was continuing to improve, the byproduct was a feedback of self-confidence. Number three, it's helped me to meet people that I would have never, ever met. I'm going to mention just a few names. I remember going to Ultimate Fitness in Birmingham. 
and I bumped into Jordan Peters and at the time I was trying to build muscle and I was a little bit bigger and I remember speaking to Jordan a great friend of mine now and I said would you do a consult and he traveled up to Nottingham and he did a consult with myself and uh, one of my colleagues at the time James Sutton I was like this wouldn't have happened it's just just come and do a consult if there wasn't something that I had to offer we had the gym we did a training session I opened the door with Jordan Jordan became a great friend he learned uh, he taught me a hell of a great deal through Jordan we met other prep coaches and other athletes in the fitness industry through building my physique I got to meet the likes of Ben Pakulski good friend of mine why I asked I went to an event a bit bigger hopefully see so here's the thing if you want to get into somebody's world you need to be somebody that they look at and go i'm quite happy to share my information and give up my time to you if you're not then people don't necessarily give you their time you know it's like going to somebody and saying would you do an interview with me i've got 100 followers and they've got 50,000 followers they're going to want something in exchange so my physique and the dedication to build my physique gave me an in with some influential people in the fitness industry once other people saw me with them they gave me other access, they got me access to them. And then my network started to grow, collaboration started to grow, my following started to grow, my reputation started to grow. And all of this was just working on my physique and it was showing my journey. And this is something I'm encouraging so many of you to do. Document and show your journey on your socials, every single bit of it, but make sure it's not the same. Make sure it's improving, make sure you look different, make sure it's radical. And that's what I was doing. I was doing radical things. I said, I want people to see that I think I went from just under 80 kilos um, in my heaviest off season to 110, 115 kilos. Like it, it was a big, big change. I'm not saying you have to do that, but take what you do to the highest level and it will impact your ability to get in front of the right people and it'll help your brand grow. Just wanted to stop the video for two seconds. Now, if you find my content helpful and you want to learn more from me, you want access to resources, you want more free trainings and live weekly webinars, then make sure you click the link in the description. Make sure you head over to my Impact and Integrity free Facebook group. Now, let's get on with the video. Four, I know, categorically, it doubled, trebled my re referrals. People were inspired. My clients were inspired. It then got them to tell their friends and their colleagues and my personal training diary, I've hardly ever marketed it in my life. But if you're just the same, if you're not really influential to the people that you're working with, they haven't got any reason to tell anybody else. My ability to work with better clients came purely as a result of not only the results I achieved with people, but it came as a result of what I was achieving with myself. People would look and go, like, I want excellence. I want to I want to be in the best physical shape. Even gen pop people, with what I was present, presenting, people were like, bodybuilders don't really get to work with gen pop clients. Yes, they do. It comes out how you present yourself, right? But that point was, it was inspiring to my clients. Gave me a story to share. I mean, this was, this was an incredible one for me. My physique and the improvements was just in itself a documentary of how I was doing it. So it gave people something to follow on a day-to-day -day basis. And when people were following it, they're becoming inspired by it. When they're inspired by it, they were intrigued by it. When they're intrigued by it, they wanted to pay me money to learn how to do it themselves. I often find that coaches showcase their results, but they miss out the personal part and the personal branding. I actually personally branded myself as hard work, disciplined, and expecting high standards, nothing but high standards for myself. I know categorically that my following grew as a result of the attention that I was getting. The attention that I was getting, and, and this comes down to it, if you aren't making something of yourself, the attention is gonna be low. If you make something of yourself, the attention is gonna be higher. All the way throughout my career, I look back at it and think, it's just been constant progression. And you know, if you want more followers, if you want better relationships, if you wanna network with more people, are you turning yourself into somebody of influence? And the reason I share this with you is every single door that's opened, wouldn't have opened if I didn't look a particular way, hadn't got the particular followers. And it keeps coming back to the body. What have I done with my body throughout my career? It got me to speak on big stages. Because of my attention and my influence and network of people, people would talk about the fact that they knew me. People would therefore come on the podcast with me. And as a result of that, people would say to me, hey, um, would like you to speak at our event. Now, on top of that, I've been able to charge more year on year on year because of my reputation, my results, and my physique has helped me. Still to this day at 46, I'm staying in shape, I'm running a business, I've got a committed relationship, I'm managing my team, 
And still to this day, people will say, it's the fact you're able to do everything that inspires me to be able to work with you. Now, this episode, whilst I'm going, I've been able to do this with my physique. My physique. I want to show you that from a business perspective, it's enabled me to have people that want to work alongside me because of my personal brand. It's enabled me to be able to keep growing my social media because of what I set myself in the early days. I think what I'm trying to help you with here, or what I know I'm trying to help you with here, is in the early days, I said to myself that I'm not going to put myself in a committed relationship with somebody until I've built a body, a business, and a brain. And this is the closing part of this. The body aspect is the missing link for a lot of people. The business is going to come off the back, especially in the fitness industry. Look at how many people in the fitness industry are trying to get ahead, but the one thing that they lack is the evidence that they can do it on themselves. And if they spent the next one to two years proving that they can do it on themselves, they would work with better clients. If they work with better clients, they would charge more money. If they charge more money, they would make more money. If you got make more, if you make more money, you have more opportunities. I've gone from, and I love the country, it's my home, but I've gone from working in a small market town to a city, to the capital, to Dubai. All of these stepping stones have come as a result of me being able to earn more because I've built an influential reputation in the fitness industry, because I've spent 10, 15 years of absolute dedicated hard work building my physique. Do you have to build a physique? No. Do you want to get attention? Make something of yourself. If you're watching this right now and thinking, do you know what? This is inspiring me to just get off my ass and start my own journey. I blocked out a lot of other people, a lot of social networking, but you know what? I'm only 46. And that graph that actually I put in to get to where I am today has given me the business that I've got, is given me the relationship that I've got. And let me tell you this. My wife was looking for a guy that was in shape, that was running his own business and had a head on his shoulders. And I said, I didn't, wasn't going to meet a wife till I built a body, a business and a brain. And she was looking for a guy with a body, a business and a brain, right? Now, I don't need to have the body forever for us just to be together. But I'll tell you this. If you're looking to be with somebody and you've not made anything of you, then when you make something of you, the law of attraction will bring like a magnet into your world. And my wife was like a magnet happening into my world once I built a body, a business, and a brain. I thank the work that I put in to building my physique. I will keep it. And I know that if you want to get somewhere, very often the missing link is going to be your body too. I hope you've taken some inspiration from this. I didn't want this to just be, I've done, I've done, I've done. Whilst there's a lot of me saying, I've been able to do this, 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 the networks that I've met, the money that I've met, the relationships I've had, the knowledge that I've had, the knowledge is because I've been inspired to build my physique and get amazing results. The money has come as a product of my personal brand. The relationships has come off the back of building my personal brand and my physique and the reputation I've built. You too, you can do this too. You have a place in the fitness industry. Build it for you. Build the body that you want and you'll be rewarded as well. I hope you found today helpful. As always, please click like and subscribe um, and share this whether you are watching on YouTube or whether you're listening on the Mastery Podcast on iTunes. For now, take care.